turn. I'm going to play Exotic Orchard and pass the turn. <gasps> uh, tap. You tap for yeah. nothing right now. That was very now. exotic. I tap for depression. <laughs> I'll play it for this. And I'll tap a thing for an Elvis mistake. I'm going to tap for chronic anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> for chronic depression pass oh generalized anxiety disorder pass <laughs> oh no uh theromorphic expanse gonna crack it and then go get a land where you can play while i do this oh. um gonna go get a mountain you should go get an island you know what i'm saying <laughs> Mm. Fuck that exotic orchard. No mountain for you, or no island for ah, you. Ah, I, mean. I see what you mean. No. No. Okay. And I will pass. It's the okay. mountain. Hey, ask and you shall receive island for turn. You know, it's cool because I have Grixis too, so soon your exotic orchard is going to be all the red colors. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all the right colors, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, pass the turn. We do nothing. Untap. We'll have to keep drawing. We will... I'll do a Mosswort Bridge. It has the Hideaway... Hideaway 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I will put this one underneath it. These go to the bottom. I'll tap for green and a green for two. I will three visits to go get myself a divorce in the play. And I'll pass. I'm gonna play a Morphic Pool that comes in on top because I have two or more opponents. Um, I think I'm going to do... Um, yeah, uh, Imperial Seal, go look for a card. And then I actually drew, I actually cracked this. I'm so happy. Uh, lose two life and look for a card put it on top of my library and pass the turn. So, so wait a second, you're giving me grief over my land, but you're going to drop a $250 card. It's not 250 <laughs> because it's not the alt art. It's not the full art. It's the regular one. It's only like $100. Now. So uh, I think I found what card I want. Like an island. Let's go. And I will pass through. And tap the draw. Play a swamp. Uh, you know, tap one dark ritual. And then Exotic Orchard for Red, and then Island. I'm going to play my Commander. Abat the Despoiler. He's a 5-5 five, five Trample. Mark of Chaos Ascendant. During my turn, spells I cast from my hand with mana value X or less have Cascade, where X is the total amount of life your opponents have lost this turn. And I will pass the turn. On <laughs> tap. Me too. <laughs> Amen, brother. Okay. Please don't die. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? Breathe, brother. Oh. Breathe. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. trying. All the death threats have started. Oh. oh, my God. Are you seeing your life flash before your eyes? Oh, or did the box okay. of photos just fall on you? It was, uh, it was, it was, I got some really good fucking crumble right now. Um, I'm going to pay four for my commander. Um, my commander is Nilia Kenai. <clears throat> She's a 5-6 indestructible. As long as my devotion to green is less than 5, she isn't a creature. Currently, my devotion is only 2. Creature spells I cast cost 1 less to cast. She has paid 2 and a green. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it into your hand. Otherwise, you may put it into your graveyard. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, master. That goes to Melanie. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm Melanie. just gonna do a uh, sunken hollow tapped and uh, pass the turn. Okay, that was a quick turn. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of early play. <laughs> Draw. Play a 
play planes. I will tap three to play replicating ring. You tap it to add a mana of any color, and at the beginning of your upkeep, put a knight counter on replicating ring. Then if it has eight or more knight counters on it, remove all of them and create eight colorless no artifact tokens named replicating ring. And mm -hmm. tap. Untap. Draw. Mountain. I will move to combat. Uh, Melanie, there can only be one. I'll swing five at you. <laughs> okay, I'll take five. Move to second main. Uh, spells I cast with five or less of Cascade. Say four for Karn the Betrayer. Karn the Betrayer. Um, he's a 5 1. When it attacks or blocks, it attacks or blocks each combat if able. When I lose control of Karn the Betrayer, draw two cards. If damage would be dealt to Karn the Betrayer, prevent that damage, and an opponent of your choice gains control of it. And I'm going to Cascade for four. Ooh. That's five. I like that card. That's land. Can't get that. Mm -hmm. That's six. Can't get that. Ooh, Bile Bite. Uh, I'm going to target Elf. Um, elves get minus three, minus three until end of turn. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Oh, keep drawing. I'll play a horse if I have to turn for here. Seems like a good way to start. I'll go. I'll tap, I'll tap a green and one additional, and I'll cast a Reclamation Sage. On the ETB, we'll blow up Karn. It's um artifact or enchantment. Isn't he an artifact, or is he one of the planeswalkers? Hold on, let me sit up. Karn, C A. It's a different Karn. It's Karn the Betrayer. Oh, well, hold on, then. I may not be Rex Saging. You can, uh -huh. Yeah, you can take that back. Sorry. It's pronounced the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, uh, nobody needs corn, to Corn, corn, the betrayer. Uh, oh, it's corn. It's corn. corn. It's corn. It's corn. It's corn. It is corn. corn. Yeah, it is corn. It's very corny. Oh, uh, well. Well, shoot. Looks like I'm going to pay three, and I'll get Amma's reach, and that'll be my turn. Mm -hmm. Get a force in the play tap, and a force in my hand. Okay, so I'll answer draw the uh, command tower uh, tap one the dark ritual uh, tap like pay six and uh, play Delacour the dark master is a six five uh, when he enters the battlefield I'll lose one life and I'll draw a card and uh, that will be my turn. Okay. Oh, and he has a Warstorm Surge effect. Uh, whenever another demon enters the battlefield under my control, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. Up tap. And um, upkeep. Replicating ring is represented by the orange die. For the counter. Mm -hmm. Draw. Plain Island. Get two islands and two planes to bring out Virago King Eternal. Whenever Virago King Eternal deals combat damage to a player, exile any number of target non land permanent to control, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. And he's a 2 4, and I will pass my turn. Um, tap. Draw. Land for turn. 
I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to swing five at you, Asriel, and five at you, Jen. Is that commander of five? Or yes. Just... And then the other five is coming to you, Jen. Okay. I will take the five. Okay. So, card ten or last half cascade. Thirty-five and five is commander. I'm gonna tap five for Herald of Zeech Flying Cascade. So I'll cascade for five twice. Whoa. I'll get a sloppy bile piper. <laughs> the card itself have cascade or yes, the card itself has oh, cascade. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Jolly got pipes to tap it, sacrifice a creature. The next creature spell I cast has Cascade. Wow. And then Chaos Mutation. Exile any number of target creature controlled by different players. For each creature exiled this way, its controller reveals the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. Puts it onto the battlefield and the rest of the bottom. So it's a Chaos Warp. Uh, so I'm going to hit all of your commanders. <laughs> Uh, you can't find it. Mine. Mine's just an enchantment. Ooh, okay. I don't have any targets available. Mine is my Ooh. commander. Commander, yep. Yeah. So I have two command figures. So okay. it'll go to your command post, yeah. It'll go to my command post. Uh, yep, and then you and reveal then reveal off cards. the top until you hit a creature card. Oh, it's a creature card. It's a Bloodthirster, Flying Trample 6-6. Six, six. Whenever Bloodthirster deals combat damage to a player, untap it. After this combat, there's an additional combat phase. Nice. Bloodthirster can't attack a player it has already attacked. It's like Port Razor. This turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that thing you had last time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Is not each demon? creature. Is that a demon? Uh, yeah. You have a trigger. Uh, no, she doesn't because of... No, because my commander's back chaos. on my command zone. It took me ten oh, shoot, I thought it was uh, a secondary creature. My fault. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought you had two creatures, one with the uh, war storm and... Uh, and then I will pass it down. Do you do Unfortunately. Any, what do you do with our creatures? You put them on the battlefield. Ah, yep. okay. Just drift it right on there. Okay, I got Restoration Angel. And the rest goes in our graveyard. Uh, onto the bottom. Bottom. Got it. Or close enough to the bottom. Got it. No, well, let's see. Forest. Man, this is tough spots. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And I'll cast a Sekiku, Mother of Summer, costs reduced by one. Mm -hmm. Sekiku is a 3 3 snake shaman. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I get that much green mana to my mana pool. This mana doesn't cause mana burn and it doesn't empty between mana phases. Yeah, and then that's it for me. I'll, I'll pass to Melody. Yeah, uh, already there. <laughs> Play land. Um, Okay, it's not a bad idea. So uh, I'm going to. Yeah, I know you have a thing to destroy artifacts, but it might actually be worth it. I, I'm gonna play a sword of fire and ice, and I'm gonna equip it to Bloodthirster. I don't care so, about the sword of fire and ice. We can be friends. <laughs> Aw, thank you. I mean, it has no protection from green, but it has protection from red and from blue. Whenever yeah, a creature see, deals combat like, okay. damage to a player, Sword of Fire and Ice deals 2 damage to target creature or player, and you draw a card. And so now I can attack all three of you with it, so I'm going to draw three cards. I think. And what are you doing the 2 damage triggers to? 
Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm gonna deal, uh, I'm gonna do eight damage to uh, my uh, cousin over there. The Straight cousin. to my face. So I'll take I five, see, six, uh, 15, Well, do you have a two two? Do you have something that. Ah, uh, no, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all three of those two damage to your commander. Okay. So, yeah, because, you know, you killed mine. So I'm gonna kill it. I didn't so. kill it, but like I understand it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you didn't that kill it. Exciting. You sent it back. I had to spend my, all my um, uh, my dark ritual mana for it, and now it's like I'm back to only five mana. I had Guess to spend my dark like ritual mana. mana. Oh, exactly. Uh, I'm gonna attack Jen uh, once. Oh, she disappeared when I was attacking her. Uh, no, okay, no, so. Yeah, yeah. You, you attack uh, so all of us once with it, and none of us have available damage. blockers. Yeah, so eight damage each, and then I'll draw three cards. It's eight damage? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So I yeah. lose Restoration Angel. No, 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 you keep Restoration Angel. No, it just, no, no, oh. no, no, it's a, oh, but un unless you want to block, but I have protection you, you could block from restoration blue angel. And, and red. I'm an eight, eight. Okay, okay, then I'll block with Restoration yeah, But Angel I still have five. Trample. I have Flying yeah, and the Trample. Oh, okay. That's Yeah, that's why I figured we, everybody would just take it to their face, because we're all just going to lose our it's, creatures. It's not worth really it. Really it. Point to block. It's not worth it. And then any command no. damage for me, or no? Uh, no, 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 Negative. no. It's just uh, eight damage uh, regular. Got it. And uh, that's my turn. I'm ten. Upkeep. Replicating ring goes to two. Draw. I'll play Port Town for land. Um I do not have a planes or island in my hand, so it does enter tapped. Not enough to bring up Grotto. But I do have enough to tap for to cast car cartographer or two two. When he enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a planes <laughs> card and put it onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. I will do that and I will pass my turn. Um, tap. Draw. I'm going to play Crumbling Necropolis, enters tapped, gives me quick sauce. Um, and then I will tap five for Noise Marine. It has Cascade. Nurgle's Rot, Enchant, Creature and Opponent Controls. When it dies, return Nurgle's Rot to my hand and create a 1 3 token named Plague Bearer Nurgle. Um, that's, that's I have a three three card. on the battlefield. I would I would change that card if I were you when you upgrade it because it's not awesome. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I saw that because I played the frequent and when I saw that I was like, what the hell is this nonsense? It's like making a token but worse. Um, put it on. The uh, <laughs> oh, fucking no, I'll put it on the 3 3. Sure, all right, so Kiku has it. 
Man, that is such a bad. I'm putting in like arcane signal or commander spear. Yeah, give me a, give me a mana board. Put that counter spell. There's like no counter spell in this deck. Put that counter spell instead. Um, like anything. I'll pass the turn. I'll keep drop. What does everybody have for blockers right now? Oh shit, sorry, I have to attack with Karn. So I'll swing at Melanie for five. Okay. Sorry, uh, my bad. Five. I have to. No problem. Uh, so I am at 27, I think. I have nothing. I have no block. I have a 3 3 flyer, a 3 3, and a 3 2. And I have a 2 2 no block ground, a 3 4 flyer. No blockers is good though for needing mana. This one's real good. I'm sorry, Melanie, but you're gonna help make me a lot of mana. <gasps> what? I'm gonna play a forest as land for turn. I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna cast Anelia, God of the Hunt. Uh, this Anelia has indestructible. As long as your devotion to green is less than five, Anelia isn't a creature. Other creatures like draw of trample and A4 target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Tap two due to the cost reduction of the Nilia Kenai. I'll cast a Rishkar Pema Renegade. Rishkar has when Rishkar enters the battlefield, put a one one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Each creature you control with a counter on it has tapped in the green. On the ETB, my devotion will be five, so both Nilias will be targetable creatures. I'll sneak a 1-1 counter on both of them with first card. We're going to tap a forest and activate the Moss War Bridge. I can play the Exiled card without paying the mana cost if I control creatures with a total power turn or greater. Currently, I have 6, 12, 14, 15 power in play. I'll free cast a Garrick the Unleashed. Uh, Garrick the Unleashed has enters with four loyalty, has plus one up to one target creature, gets plus three, plus three, and trample till end of turn. Minus two, create a three, three green beast creature token that if an opponent controls more creatures than you, put a loyalty counter on Garrick Unleashed. And then negative seven, gain an emblem with at the beginning of your instep, search your library for a creature card, put on the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Uh, plus one, I'm up to five. And I'll give Nilia Kenai plus three plus three and trample till end of turn. Hello. Okay. Oh. Okay. Go to combat. I'm going to send a three three on the ground at Melanie. Excluded. He won't be happy. Yeah, well, I have no black ears. So I'll take three. Okay. Yeah. I'll flow three mana off the Sakiki. Me too, I'm going to use that three mana. I'm going to cast Anilia's Disciple. Uh, when the Anilia's Disciple enters the battlefield, I gain life equal to my devotion to green. Currently, my devotion is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So it'll eat to be, and I'll gain nine life going up to 36. Nice! I have been working on that for the job. And that'll be my turn. Like I said, Melanie, you're going to give me a lot of mana this turn. It's not so bad. Pass. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I know, right? It was scary. It was intimidating, but no, no. Yeah, I was kind of thinking you were just gonna kill me. Like, no. right now. What? No, who does that? I'm actually surprised at how powerful Josh's precon is right out of the box. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. The new precons are crazy. Well, so except for that one honestly, part. Except for that Nargle's Rod. It, it, That's it, like, it, when it, I it, saw it, that, it, I was so, like, what the hell? It's the only dog Yeah, so it's good. It's good. Yeah, the Cascade thing is really good. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put 
Um, now I have six mana. What can I do with six mana? You could always do something with six mana. That's Amen. True. <laughs> that's all, that's very true. I just have maybe too many options. I'm not sure. Just play them all. Uh, <laughs> I wish, I wish, but they're all expensive. But I'm <laughs> play them one at a time, maybe. You know, <gasps> okay, there's no counter spells. Oh, I know what I can do. I can go. I can go maybe. Uh, but that's okay. If you if you don't mind being patient, I'm gonna go tutor. But I don't know this deck very well. Uh, I'm going to cast a Burning Rune Demon. So uh, when he enters the battlefield, I'm going to search my library for two cards that don't have the same name, and someone is going to decide which one of those I keep and which one of those I get rid of. So it goes to the graveyard. Uh, yeah, I think so. So which one you keep and which one you reanimate. I'm going to choose one of them, <laughs> put the chosen card into your hand, and the other into your graveyard. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so which one do you keep in hard cast and which one do you reanimate the next turn? <laughs> Yo, that's how I always use it. But I always like to use it to get yourself like shot. I don't know. I also, also might, Yeah, I could also use uh, you know, something to get more mana. But I'm gonna uh, choose the exalted flamer of chinch. That's uh, forecasting. That's the one that uh, when at the beginning of my upkeep, I can return an instant or sorcery card at random from my uh, graveyard. And I'm going to choose, because uh, I need to be able to cast my commander, so I'm going to choose Herald of Slanesh. Not a very big demon, but it makes my demon spells cost two less. I think that's two uh, options. Or, oh no, I have another option that's pretty good. I think, give me a second. I'll, uh, I'll uh, rework this one. I don't think this one. Maybe, because my life total is going down. So maybe I want to give uh, my demons lifelink. Or, or, ah, okay, that's good. Uh, Neheb, at the beginning of your post-combat main phase, as one, add one red to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. And uh, the other one is, uh, it's a, it costs five, and the other one costs four. It's at the beginning of your upkeep, return an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, exalted flamer of chance deal one damage to any opponent. To, to each opponent. So I'm going to choose um, Jen. Okay. And which what, one do you want me to put in my graveyard? And what is that name? And which one? I'll, I'll have you keep the instant sorcery one and discard in the head. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to attack everyone uh, again. Time to yeah, attack means. everyone again, pretty much. Right, how much? Eight? Uh, no, I'm gonna attack. Um, wait, how, how, how much life are you all at? 32. 36. 30. I don't know which one is Okay, I'm, I'm going to attack everyone except Jen. As I untap it, I'm gonna leave it untapped. Uh, okay. I'm going to do uh, four damage to your uh, Garruk Planeswalker. Oh, yeah. Bring it down to one. And I'm going to draw two cards. And I think I'm going to have to discard stuff. Yeah, uh, nine cards. Because <laughs> so... I'm gonna discard. Yeah, with the half um, numbers, we've been losing five, eight life, and then you would be up life in no time. Exactly, yeah, have, exactly. You'd be like they 24 have, red mana after a combat. Exactly, so I'd be able so to nasty. get my entire hand. That wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna discard, um, I don't know, I guess the Villas Broker of Blood, because I don't need any. Five. 
five. Oh. It's too good to be. And uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. On tap. <laughs> Up keep replicating ring goes to three. Draw for turn. No land, but I can bring back El Frago. No, but honestly, my my deck that deck is probably worth about six hundred dollars, and most of that money is in that tutor you saw. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not. It's not more. It's, I don't think it's more than than that. Is it, it does have another. I think it has a demonic tutor too. So it's like the tutors alone are like one hundred and fifty. Oh, tap, draw. But the the demons are not expensive. Um, I'm going to tap six and play Mutilith, Vortex Beast. It's a 6-6 six, six with Trample. When it enters the battlefield, flip a coin for each opponent I have. For each flip I win, draw a card. For each flip I lose, it deals three damage to that player. So heads I win, tails I lose, and uh, so I'll win on odds. Mm -hmm. Got a six, so Melanie will take the three damage. As we are, uh, I'm player two, right? So I take that six for the three. Uh -huh. And then would you roll on the next six? Roll? So Melanie now will take Melanie three. three. Yeah, and then I, I roll the three on Jen, so I draw a so card. Jen will draw. You'll draw a card. And I'll, I'll take three. On that, I apologize. I will swing. Eight at you, Azriel. On the ground? Five one three? and a three two on the ground. They're both on the ground? Both on the ground. I have a seven seven and a six seven indestructibles available for blocking unit. Do you want to send those my way? I do want to send the five one your way, so. That's the corn, right? Mm-hmm. The corn I will put my indestructible commander in front of. Yep. And so it'll die. To another player. Doesn't I'll it give damage to another player. I'll, when it if damage would be dealt to a prevent it and give it to an opponent of my choice when I lose control of control two. Uh, I'll give it to Jen. So Jen has a five one. Uh, when I blocked it, it was enough damage to kill it. So instead of the damage happening, he has to give it to another player and he gets to draw two cards. Got it. Okay, that's next. And time. then I'll. And it has to attack each combat, right? Or block? Yeah, but it has to attack or block each combat. Oh, it's on the ground or flying? On the ground. On the ground. ground. Okay. Ground. Got it. I'm going to Evolving Wilds and uh, pass the turn and crack it. Content. I'll keep drawing. Uh, swamp. Swamp. Let's see. What do you have for a life total right now, Josh? 24. What do you have for a life total, Jen? I am at 30. You're at 21. Mm -hmm. I'm at 25. You just have the 8-8 eight eight as a blocker currently, Millie? No, I have a 6-6 six six as well. What do you have for blocks currently, Josh? Uh, a 6-6, six, six, a 3-2, three, a 3-3 three, three flying, and a 3-3. Three, three. And then I That's have so a 5-1 on the ground, a 2-2 two, two on the ground, a 3-4 flying, and a 2-4 flying. All right. Oh, my. 
I will plus one the Garrick up to two. And we'll give the Nilia Keenite plus three plus three until end of turn. Mm -hmm. We will tap two due to the cost reduction from Nilia. I'll cast a Reclamation Sage. Mm -hmm. ETB, I'm going to attempt to blow up that sword. Yeah. You had enough fun with that thing. Aww, it's a beautiful sword. It is a beautiful sword. Beautifully deadly. I have all the swords, yeah. actually. I have, I, I have a collection of swords. I, I have the same in my I'm bothered time. to buy all the freaking swords. I'm not even using all of them. I just have them. Because I had to. I'm going to go to combat. And I'm going to send a... So it's a 6-6 six, six with only one counter. So a 7-7 seven, seven, Nilia, God of the Hunt, a Josh, and a 6-7 plus 3, a 9-10 Nilia, Keen-Eyed, a Josh. They both have Trample. How much yeah, is it total? Destructible. Uh, 7 to 9, it'd be 16. I'll block with a 3 3 and a 3 2, and I'll go to 12. So it'll be 11 that hits. 12 that hits. You said a 3 3 and a 3 2, right? Yeah, so 5 from 17. 16. 16. Oh, it's 16? Okay. Yeah, a 7 7 and a 9 10. So 16. Yeah, so 11 hits. I'll float so 11 for mana from Sakiku, Mother of Summer. I'll use I'll use three of that eleven, going down to eight to activate Nelia Kenine. Reveal the top card of my library. It's a creature that goes to my hand. It's a Finhorn Elf. I'll use one of that floating mana, going down to seven. We'll cast the Finhorn Elf. I'll use three of that seven, going down to four. Reveal the top card. It's a forest. I'll put it in my graveyard. I'll use three of that four, going down to one. Reveal the top. It's a nature's lore. I'll put it in the graveyard. One, two, three. Activate Nelia one more time. That's a forest. We'll put it in the graveyard. That was trash. Not a single creature wants all that. I'll pay one for a Steve, and I'll go hellbent, and I'll pass my turn. Hello? Uh, Hellbent is a term for being no cards in hand. Sorry. Oh, okay, that's not nice. nope. that mean either. Uh, yeah, it's actually a keyword ability from, well, I guess not. I thought it was from forever, jazz though. hands. Like, <laughs> that's what I usually hear people say. I'm jazz hand. Jazz hands, yeah. Um, I got I jazz hands. I feel super old now. I just got to look and see what, when Hellbent was an active keyword, because I don't. I feel like it's been like probably a decade or so. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't know. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'm going to cast... Uh, uh, yeah, three, four, three... Uh, do I have enough to do that? No, probably not. Sorry, talking out loud. Okay, uh, with three, I'm going to cast Chromatic Lantern. Then with two, I'm going to cast uh, Talisman of Dominance. And with uh, four, I'm going to cast uh, Whip of Erebus. So my creatures have lifelink. Uh, I'm how much life are you everybody at? Thirteen. Twenty-five. Okay. Uh, they both have flying five five and a six six, right? Yeah, they're flying six six, both of them. Uh I am going to attack uh Ezreal. Ezreal? Do you have any reach or 
No, no, anyway. Uh, currently uh, reach, no, no reach. We're flying, no. no reach. Nope, negative. Okay, so, so I'll swing you for 12 in the air. Yeah, uh, then I, uh, uh, hold then on, do you want to send all six or all 12 at me, or do you want to send six at me and six mm -hmm. at the Garrick? Uh, wait, it's what at does two, the Garrick it's not really do a problem already? currently. No, uh, I don't think so. so really, it's just giving plus three, plus three to a creature. If it does get to seven, I get an emblem that lets me fetch creatures, but uh, currently okay. it's only at two. It's not really a key. It's not really too big of a worry. Player removal is a lot better. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I want to play I'll friendly, and I don't want to remove players, but I just, I just want to gain life right now. So, uh, so I'm going to swing uh, twelve at Jen. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna, and then another battle phase. I'm not going to swing at uh, my cousin over there. And I'm going to gain... Hold on. Does it on tap all creatures or just itself on Yeah. Creatures? There's another... There's an additional combat phase. Does combat damage on tap... Oh, no. It doesn't on tap all the creatures. It's not like Morog. It's just this guy. Sorry. It, yeah, uh, just Jen, you take itself. only six. Only six. Okay, so Jen, you take six. Uh, that's it. Okay. Um... Okay. So I, that means I'll gain 18 life. So I'll be at 39. And I'll take six. Oh, okay. So, you did, so you did. I don't know. I started playing yeah, magic nice. about three years ago. So I wouldn't know <laughs> that stuff. So I, I, I started because of the pandemic. I couldn't get out anymore. So I had to find an indoors hobby. So, uh, there. My dad learned my dad learned English from magic, so oh, how nice. that was like one of his few things was playing magic. All right, so uh, it's uh, that I passed my turn. Jennifer, after you. Uh, yep, I'm next. Uh -oh. <laughs> Island. Yeah, so if this was literally like a rock, it, my hand would be like a thousand times better, even if it was just one mana. Because, like, mm -hmm. even if it was a basic land, it would be yeah. better right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be better all the time. It's I just like, the worst card I have ever seen, I think. Like, I think the one it's missing <laughs> is Commander's Fear. And I have that pulled up. Let's see. Oh, no, it's missing Arcane Signet. There's no arcane signet in the deck. There's no arcane signet in the deck. Wow. How strange. I'm surprised. That's special. I'll tap. I guess I didn't realize. Uh, to yeah, it has like all the other ta all all the other talismans. It has like all the talismans, but there's no arcane signet. Okay. I'll tap. Where the fuck did I go? Sunlight Angel. It has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, destroy all tapped creatures. And it's a 4-5. My only tapped creatures are indestructible. So destroy all tapped creatures, so destroy my burning rune demon. Okay. And then since yours is indestructible, it doesn't die, correct? Yeah, they don't blow up. That's, yeah, bulky folks. Okay. I will move to combat. I have no reach or flying. Okay. And what are life totals at? 13. 13. 
I'm at 39. And what are you at as? 13. 13. Um. Because my creatures have lifelink now. So that's why I'm my back. Right. And your 151 one does have to attack that he gave you. Yep. Does your creature have flying, Melanie, or no? Yes, it does. It's a 6-6 six, six flying trample, but that doesn't affect anything right now. So I would just uh, swing your flyers and then at, uh, at somebody and then corn at somebody. But not your other dude. Right. Okay. So I will swing the 5-1 corn at you, Azrael. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, I take that back. If, if I can, I can. I'll take it back. If not, then that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, okay. yeah go, go ahead and take your time and... The I mean, I'm definitely not going to stop you from taking it back, you know? And then the... Five with flying to you, Azrael. Five with flying at me? Correct. And, and then flying. where's corn coming? Or, yeah, corn going at... Uh, Melanie, she's Melanie. Uh, okay, uh, I'll block him in my 6-6 six, six flying, and uh, I'll gain 6 You won't flying. gain any life. You won't gain any life. Because it prevents. It prevents. Uh, it prevents? It prevents. Prevent, I'll prevent the damage. If, uh, if damage would be dealt to corn, deal. prevent it. And then, oh, so, okay. because okay. you're going to give this to somebody... Jen, you're going to draw two cards and then you're going to give corn to somebody. Oh, that's so nice. Very generous. So you draw two. Draw two. Okay. That's a tough decision. If you give it to me, I'll give it back to you. I can sacrifice it and give it back to you. Okay, I'll give it back to you. That's probably the okay. best option anyways. Sweet. Okay, I'll blink Brago, blink Restoration Angel, blink Core. Corn is out. I'll blink Sunblast Angel. Okay, um... Get a planes off the core. Yep, I get a planes off the core. I don't believe there are any tapped creatures. No. None that will be destroyed. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I'll shuffle and I will pass my turn because I don't think I have to do anything else. Um, tap. Draw. That's a nice ability. That's a nice com combo, Jen, with the like tapped creature. This destruction Tap that two. makes you think twice before attacking people. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Really think about yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And I don't even have the best cards in Brago yet. Tap two. No, there's such good cards for it. Okay, so Karn is only combat damage, not if I were to sacrifice him. So I did misread that. Uh, if you send it at me, I will block it. Okay. I'll send Karn at you. I'm going to block with the Sacred Tribe Elder, and then I'm, before combat, I'm going to sack the Sacred Tribe Elder to go get a forest and a play tapped. Do you think he's called uh, Sakura because you, you sack him, or is that a joke? I was still going to sack him. I'm just saying, like, if you do send it my way, I'm just going to sack Steve, so that way you don't... I'm going to tap to two, and I'm going to sacrifice Karn to my Sophie Bile Piper. My next creature gets Cascade. All right, so you're not swinging it my way. Not anymore. Yeah, just. 
I mean, it was uh, blocked. And, uh, it wasn't yeah, no, you can, no, no, I still like, <laughs> I still went through attacks with it and everything. Oh, I just okay, did it so in I'm, response I'm to sack that Steve and yeah. go get a forest. I did it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You sack, I sack. I'm going to play uh, the Great Unclean One in Cascade for five. <laughs> That's a great name. The Great Unclean One. Getting Hellbrew. <laughs> it's like the, the garbage gods. Um, at the beginning of my end step, each opponent loses two life. Then for each opponent who has less life than me, I create a one three creature named Plague Bearer of Nerve. There's so many of these Plague Bearers. And I'm going to pass the turn. Everyone's going to lose two life. Yeah. Uh, and then what's everyone at? I'll be at 36. six, but I am going to respond to that trigger on the stack. I'll go ahead real quick and pay three and activate Nilia. Uh, it's a better foot bailiff. So five, five with trample, it'll go to my hand. All right. So I got a one thing. I want Melanie. What are you at? 37. 30 something. Jen, what are you at? 22. Okay. That's so 37. Um, I will pass a turn and I will be right back. Hunt. I'll draw for two. Uh, shoot. I'm gonna get my mana. I'm gonna pay three and sacrifice the Amelia's disciple to cast an Eldric Evolution. Uh, Eldric Evolution, as you cast it, sacrifice a creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, where X is two plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost. Put that card on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Exile Eldritch Evolution. So I'll be searching for a six or less to put into play. Oh, not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those evolution cards are pretty cool. Need something for all the flying. Need something for all the flying. Uh, I like the birthing pod. Birthing pod is nice. Oh, there's a planeswalker that has the birthing pod as a plus one effect or something. Like uh, Vivian, one of the Vivians does it. I have I have two of the Vivians in this deck. I just haven't seen either one of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of my favorite pla planeswalkers. I guess I could have sacrificed a cheaper creature, but that's okay. I'm gonna get a silk lash spider into play. I thought it was six CMC, but it's fine. What does it do? It's a reach? It's a 2-7 with reach, and it has 2 green and X. Silk Lash Spider deals X damage to each creature with flying. Uh-oh. I'm going to... You have just the one blocker right now, Melanie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to plus one Garrick up to three. I'll make Nilia a 9 10 till in a turn. Ooh. I'm going to send 16 Indestructible Trample your way, Melanie. Okay, I'll take 16. That's got to hurt. I'll float 16. Just on the inside. <laughs> I'm going to use 8 of that 16, bringing me down to 8 for the Silk Lash Spider to do 6 damage to each creature with flying. Okay. We'll use 3 of the 8, going down to 5. Reveal the top. Uh, Vivian, Monster's Advocate, I will... Uh, leave that on top of my library. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'll use the five floating, putting me to none, and with the one cost reduction from the Nelia Keenite, I'll cast a Thunderfoot Baleth 
Yes, sir. Right, so five, five foot trample, and then as long as I control my commander, Thunderfoot Baleth gets plus two, plus two, and other creatures I control have plus two, plus two, and trample. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's it for me. Where did I do? I like you'd think I'd have one arcane signet. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, so uh, as Bro said, uh, not today, buddy. Pretty yeah, much. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna activate my whip of variables. So I'm going to return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next hand step. Putting it somewhere else. If it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Activate its ability on the end time you could cast a sorcery. Okay. Uh, so, tap four. And... Uh, Oh, I have a feeling I know which one you're going for. Uh, it's actually a hard choice. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for... How much life are you at? I'm at three. Uh, I think... Uh, the one that's about to I'm kill me with my Leos. Six. I'm at six, okay. but I have a four nine with reach. Let's go. Yeah... Okay, I'm gonna take Villa's Broker of Blood. Ooh, uh, gross. <laughs> Ew! Not that guy. Hey, what, uh, what are you doing here? I thought we were friends. What the? What the heck? <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to. Um, yeah, three. I'm gonna cast Be Devil on your spider. And destroy target artifact creature or planeswalker. Is Villas flying? Yeah. What's his toughness? It's eight. <laughs> That's such a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only got six mana. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm super dead. You're I do dead. apologize. We're dead. I'm super dead. Yes, you are, because you scare me now. So I'm going to swing at you with uh, Villis for eight. Villis. Yes, uh, Villis is villainous. And then I'm going to sacrifice him. I'm going to gain... You'll gain eight, eight life. Yeah. So, but I have no board. So. <laughs> what do you want? Hopefully. I'm at 29, <laughs> but I have no board anymore. And uh, that's it. That's my turn. Okay. On tap. Upkeep. Oh, and then this goes to the graveyard. Didn't even fucking do anything. <laughs> No, no, do not. Damn it. Card is trash. <laughs> Big trip. Oh my god. <laughs> it's How kind of funny. Well, they, they decided to do that instead of putting an arcade signet. What, what was going through their minds? <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm being super loud. Are you okay? I think my boyfriend went to sleep, but now I'm talking really loud. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, actually, creatures are in your graveyard, Melanie. Uh, quite a few. Uh, one, two, three. Four. 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 Twice or once? Twice. Okay, that's okay. So that's wrong. Okay, 
Yeah, I thought I got some there. But I can do this. You can uh, what you do you think? Oh no, sorry, I have three because Villis is exiled now, I forgot. Do, is three. that creature that lets you search things up in your graveyard? Uh huh? And that creature? What creature? Yeah. So it lets you search up for other things? Oh, uh, Whip of Erebos. It's an artifact. No, 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 the, the demon that did it. Uh, what if I did... I don't... Uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I haven't cast it yet. Oh, the okay. demon that lets me get uh, instant and sorceries? No. I, I honestly <laughs> haven't had the chance to cast it. For five and two white, um, I'm casting Drugsfolk Calvary. It has flying. Whenever another spirit enters the battlefield under you control, you gain two life. For three and a white, put a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. He is a 4-4. Four, four. And then... I'll tip Port Town and one from Replicating Ring. To play Kabiri Takedown deals damage equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature or planeswalker, which is three. So I'm going to send three your way, Melanie. Uh, to what? I don't have any creatures or planeswalkers. You can kill my thing that gives. Um... I can sacrifice. Like my board is uh, empty. I have artifacts, but I have nothing. I have nothing. No. But I can kill something or ashes. Yes. This thing that gives my stuff cascade. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I will kill that. I will move to combat with Carp Photographer and Sunblast Angel at you, Melanie, for six. All right, I'll take six. I'm at 23. And I'll pass my turn. And tap. Good evening, everyone. Having Good fun? Mm, yeah, pretty much. I just got home Hi. from work. What's supposed to be my day off today? Um, for three, I'm going to cast Chromatic Lantern, and then for That's two... That's what they put instead of an Arcan Sigma. Right, and then for two, I'm going to play mm -hmm. Talisman of Indulgence, the Rakdos one. Mm-hmm. And then... For three, I'm going to play the Lost and the Damned. Whenever I land enters the battlefield under my control from anywhere other than my hand, or I cast a spell from anywhere other than my hand, I create a 3-3 red spawn creature token. That's cool with the cascade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the cascade. Mm -hmm. And then... I will... Go to my end step, and you each will lose two. Mm -hmm. 
And then what's you guys' life at? 21. And 16. 16. Okay, I will pass the turn. Now we on tap. Draw. Okay. Oh, I need to see what I'm going to be doing. Uh, one. Okay, that's going to be it. Yeah. 
Right, but they both trigger because she lost three life, so they're both going to net you three red mana. <gasps> oh, yes, you're oh, right. Oh, oh my oh, god, yeah. that is so disgusting. I, I wow. use Mehet quite abusively in my Grixis deck. So, oh, okay. yeah, you got six you. red. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, okay, okay. That took me a while, but I got there. So I'm hey, we're all on the bus now, man. That's cool. <laughs> I want to get five, five of them for a Gilded Lotus. Uh, then I'm going to... There you go, tap, power moves. Yes, I'm going to tap this for four. And then I'm going to cast the uh, Exalted Flamer of ten. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll read again for life and then I'll pass the turn. And then now the first that original goes to exile. So, yes. It's all oh, there it. it. right yeah, now. Yeah. That's the token. That's the I'm I'm gonna put in a little devil token here to remember that it's not real. There you go. I don't even have a copy token thing. I just I wish they did. Sorry, I just made this oh, deck. So many of those clone haven't... tokens. <gasps> Wait, I have this. It's a replicating ring, uh, Nehem. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that yeah. card. It works, it, all, it works almost similar to you know, the same way as Soul Ring, believe it or not. Yeah, it's just pretty good uh, uh, trying out brand new decks. Yeah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> so we all have new we all have new decks we never really played before, so it's really fun. Except Jens has a Brago. But he has a precon and um, Israel had like a green deck he just made today. And I cheated, I man. I got made. I got kicked in the teeth when I was down. <laughs> yeah. Well you just twinged me for twenty. No, like, he's always picking on me, man. man. Always was the, it was the 16, I don't know. Man. I don't understand. It was the yeah, take it as a compliment. Take it as a compliment. It means that I do. I'm just picking on you. I know, but you're picking on me too. <laughs> I have to, man. I have to. You're the other scary one at the table. Exactly. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, yeah, that, that Grixis deck is scary too. Like, and Brago when it starts running could be super scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. But see, you, 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 you destroyed me to the point I had nothing left on my board, so I, 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 I got scared because you had a lot of stuff. Yeah. All I had was Tempest. Hey, Melanie. Melanie, have you ever played yeah. any of the new Dominaria United? Yeah. What are you playing? You play Jen? Dominaria United sets? What? The, I played a few. I, you... I mean, I did the pre release. Like, I uh, opened a bunch of cards from it. I play the pre con Pain Boat deck. And this here in particular is my favorite. Oh, Jared. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> I wish he had the pair mechanic, pair with mechanic. That way, you could pair him with his exiled sibling. Yep. Ah, then they'd be reunited. It'd be a beautiful yep. story. Yep. Especially if, if these two literally had the pair mechanic, it would be literally an unstoppable deck. Unfortunately, they do not. What you playing, Jen? I'm casting four, or I'm playing, I'm um, uh, tapping four to white um, to not cast a creature. I am playing Bond of Discipline. Tap all creatures. Ooh, what does that do? Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. <laughs> Nice. Wow, very nice. Very so you nice play. all of our creatures? Mm hmm You gonna destroy all tapped creatures after? <laughs> do it! 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 Do
<laughs> you know you want to do it, Jen. You know you want to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, Melanie's life is up there. Oh, it's only 25 now. And Josh, you're at what life-wise? 13. Okay. Uh, moving to combat. Melanie, you have 10 coming at you. I'll take 10. And then they I have, have no creatures. Two. Well, they're tapped. I'm at yes. 18. Or what did I 16. Yeah. Mm, all right. So now we're all equal. So, all all right. dying equally. I will pass. Uh, Don't yeah. forget you had lifelink. So you gained uh, 10 oh. life. I gained. Oh, thank you. So 26. Uh -huh. <laughs> now Jen is the biggest threat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now Jennifer's the bigger threat. Go Jen. I could have bought. I could have brought Bargo back out, but it was a matter of what I had in hand. Exactly. Then it was me. Then turned. Mm -hmm. You're right. That makes sense. So what are you at, Melanie? Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Twenty-six for Jen. <laughs> yeah, Jen's at twenty-six now. She's the threat, not me. <laughs> I'm just here chilling. Oh, that could change can. it. <laughs> It could. It could. What color are you playing, Melanie? Uh, Grixis. Oh, so you're playing green? No. Hmm. Guess again. Red? Yeah. And blue. Red, blue, black, my friend. And black. <laughs> oh, Red, blue, and black. You know what? Yeah. Here's a recommendation for you, Melanie. Put uh, Rise of the Dark Realms in there. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me put some green in there. No, no. Put Rise of the Dark Realms in there and make that your trump card. Uh-huh. I don't know what that is. You know why? So, if you Melanie, look up that card, you for it will... 15. <laughs> it's a nasty piece of work. You guys swing at me for 15? Yeah. Oh no, I think I die. Well, I die. Okay. And then I'm going to spend you all got my the mana. bronze medal. Uh... Aww. <laughs> I'm going to deal five damage to each creature. Five, ten, fifteen. No, no, no. Just to your creatures. Just to your creatures. Five okay. damage to each of your creatures. Yeah. So I lose all of them. <laughs> that was a good move because I think I had the game next turn. Yeah, so, I think I, I, I was. I, I was, cascade for. Because my commander was going to come and then I had enough mana to cast that. To and I game. cascade for eight. I was going to start exploding. Things. Getting. Knight Rampager on the battlefield. At the beginning of combat on my turn, choose an opponent at random. It attacks that player. Um, when it dies, it deals four damage to target opponent chosen at random. I can't imagine who the um, opponent at random is. <laughs> and um, since it entered the battlefield from somewhere other than my hand, I create a 3 3 uh, elemental spawn. So, Melanie, this is the next deck I'm planning on making. Uh-huh. I'm, oh, I'm planning on making a Bolas deck next. Oh, nice. Well, that's the same color I'm playing now. Spirit Dragon and Rugen, the Spirit Dragon in it. Playing Island. You're going to put the Ur Dragon in the, in the Nicol Bolas deck? Isn't Nicol Volas yeah. just uh, uh, missing two colors for that? Yeah. 
Wait, is the Earth Earth, 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 Earth Drake is five colors? colors? Yeah. It's a five color. Wow. Well, I might just go. I might. For I don't know if I want to go straight. Or, what are you doing? I don't know if I want to go straight up Bolas or if I want to do a combination of dragons. Hey, Josh, I'm casting your favorite card. Fargo? No. Nope. Approach? <laughs> Bolas is Citadel. Stormherd. Psychrift. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Yes. <laughs> so I have 26 right. Pegasus. Uh, There's quite a few classic cards. They're going to be pretty oh, it. <laughs> My most favorite card ever, I think, is the Farewell. So they're one ones, right? They're one ones, right? There's a few cards I'm going to be putting in this sucker. Okay, is it I'm going to put it in Ether Flux. Aaron, you can pass passing, Josh. Turn tap. Draw. Plan for turn. Come on, come on. All right, so for five. <laughs> Oh, it's only for four. Even better. For four, I'm going to pass in flames. Each instant and sorcery card in my graveyard gains flashback equal to its mana cost. I'm going to tap one for dark ritual for three. Four, five, six. I'm going to let the galaxy burn. So I'm going to deal two damage to each uh, creature again. I like that card. I really like that turn. Okay. So all of you, your griffins die. Oh. I, I think they put it in there to fight against the Imperium deck because it keeps creating a bunch of 2-2s. Two and I cascade. And I'm getting Tazag... Time to save your life. Tazagir Shaman. When it deals combat damage to a player, copy the next instant or sorcery spell I cast. Uh, I'm going to pay one because past in flames. Um, oh, cast a spell. So I get two more spawns because of, it's a spell from anywhere other than my hand. I'm going to tap one for brainstorm. Spawns. Draw three, put two back. Jesus Christ. And then I'll move to combat and I'll swing six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen at you, Jen. Okay, I take fifteen. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, I'm at 11. On tap. Tapping five and Josh, I gotta do it. Cast cleansing Nova. Yep. Oh, ow. All my creatures are destroyed. We're in it for the long haul. Yep. Oh, no. And I will pass. What's your life at, Josh? Don't you do four damage when that one touches your dice? Okay. But every time I think I have a good play, Josh has just as good of a play. Thank <laughs> you. 
as much as I really want to know the end of the game, I think I'm going to go sleep. Fair. I get up early tomorrow. I'm going to play my commander. Let me know who wins, please. I will. And I will. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. I just want to see who wins. Since I cast yeah, a creature I do from too, but I really, I really want to go to sleep. Yeah. I'm going to create a 3-3 three, because three, I casted him anywhere from other than my hand, and I'm going to pass the turn. On tap. Now that replicating ring has eight counters on it, I can remove all of them and create eight colorless snow artifact tokens, it says. Mm -hmm. So those will go on the battlefield as tokens. Mm -hmm. Did I? And that's all. That's all I can do. I don't think I have anything for one. Okay. My turn. Yes. Yep, I'll pass. I can't do anything for one mana. Okay. Good for turn. Um, I'm going to move to combat and swing eight at you. Okay, so I'll take the herb. I'll lose my eight tokens. Uh, I will take eight then. I'm down to three. Well, hey, you can block three of it with your two four and only take five. Uh, your Bra Braga won't die. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll block it and take how much? Five. And you don't tap to block. Okay, and I was at how much before? Eleven? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say, I want to say eleven. And then I, eleven. And I take three? Five. Oh, so I made six. Mm -hmm. And then I will tap five, and I will play Deny Reality, Cascade, Return Target Non-Land Permanent to its owner's hand. I'm going to return Brago to your hand. Okay. And I'm going to Cascade twice. Getting Talisman of Creativity. Please go to the bottom. And then Pox Blockers. It's a 3 1 death touch. Whenever I cast a spell from anywhere other than my hand, return Pox Blockers from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Nice. Um, and then 5 for 5. 
I'll play Chaos Defiler, Trample 5-4. Whenever it enters the battlefield or dies for each opponent, choose a non-land permanent that can... Uh, Player controls, destroy one of them at random. So I'm going to destroy one of your uh, mana rocks. Okay. Seven mana. Just because those are the only permanents you have. Yep. And permanents. And I'm going to cascade again for five. That's six. Is wicked. That's six. That's a land. That's six. That's six. There we go. Um, Dark Apostle, the next non-creature, three and tap it, the next non-creature spell I cast this turn has Cascade. And then, um, since I cast Dark Apostle and Talisman of Creativity from some, um, from other than my hand, and Poxwalkers, I'm going to get three spawn tokens, and I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> Three. Cast Angel Heart Protector. When it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. The three two on the ground. Does that have flash? It doesn't say flash. No. Oh well. Okay. And. I'll tap four. Just to get a body on the board. To cast Stoic Farmer. When it enters the battlefield, search for basic planes. Um, if an opponent controls more lands than you, put it on the battlefield tapped, otherwise into my hand. I control three, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I control nine. Okay. There's a planes. Since we have the same amount of lands, does it go tapped or into my hand? Uh, tapped. Okay. And I will pass my turn. That's all I can do. Tap. I'm just going to swing the team at you. I figured. Yeah, I'll just... Not the B team, the A team. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, uh, 15, 18, uh, 28 damage. Wow. Ouch. Right? Yeah. What's your life had, Jen? Uh, six and I can only... Think she was at only six. So you block ten, oh, so you take eighteen. Protector. Yeah, but you still can't block them all. Right, so only block... You'd take eighteen. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, so with that, it's game... 